We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Entering a new dimension, April 25th. In the late stages of our drinking, the will to resist has fled. Yet, when we admit complete defeat and when we become entirely ready to try Alcoholics Anonymous principles, our obsession leaves us and we enter a new dimension, freedom under God as we understand Him. As Bill sees it, page 283. I am fortunate to be among the ones who have had this awesome transformation in my life. When I entered the doors of AA, alone and desperate, I had been beaten into willingness to believe anything I heard. One of the things I heard was, this could be your last hangover, or you can keep going round and round. The man who said this, obviously, was a whole lot better off than I. I like the idea of admitting defeat, and I have been free ever since. My heart heard what my mind never could. Being powerless over alcohol is no big deal. I'm free and I'm grateful. It took us too long to realize we were drinking against our will. We swore off drinking the next morning, and we meant it. We were done, we told ourselves and others. We would pass the lie detector test if we took one, because we really did believe we were done. We were hungover and we regretted the night before. We couldn't believe it was us again. Then, in very short order, we would be all lit up again, and our loved ones would throw up their hands in desperation and say they were done with us forever. We were done with ourselves, but couldn't get away from ourselves. We were trapped. Such a dilemma. Everyone's moment of truth is different, but they all share the feelings of despair, hopelessness, and defeat. When we reach this point, we surrender. We are done and are ready for any suggestion. Those of us who were suggested we try AA and actually went to a meeting and stayed all had the same feeling. These people really have something here. They are free from the obsession of the mind and live full lives. We stay, we work the steps, and find a higher power with which we can rely on, and our drinking problem is no longer a temptation. It has been removed by our higher power. All we did was surrender and follow the suggestions as laid out in the book. Having a solution to a problem we have been trying to solve for so long drew the skeptic out in us. We couldn't wrap our minds around it. We have been battling for a long time, and this Alcoholics Anonymous solution appeared overly simplistic. It is a simple program for complicated people. We are complicated thinkers. We overthink and live in fear, and we procrastinate. Our heads said to run, but our hearts said to stay and get started. We stayed. We followed directions, and the miracle happened for us. We have recovered from a hopeless state of mind and body. The solution opened us up to have real relationships with others, ourselves, and our God of our understanding. Our former selves would not recognize the new sober us, and we are grateful for the blessings we are receiving. It never ends. Each day is a new opportunity to get close to our higher power and to help others. We want little else than to be useful in the program and at our homes. Entering a new dimension. April 25th. In the late stages of our drinking, the will to resist has fled. Yet, When we admit complete defeat and when we become entirely ready to try Alcoholics Anonymous principles, our obsession leaves us and we enter a new dimension, freedom under God as we understand Him. As Bill sees it, page 283, I am fortunate to be among the ones who have had this awesome transformation in my life. 
When I entered the doors of AA, alone and desperate, I had been beaten into willingness to believe anything I heard. One of the things I heard was, this could be your last hangover, or you can keep going round and round. The man who said this, obviously, was a whole lot better off than I. I like the idea of admitting defeat, and I have been free ever since. My heart heard what my mind never could. Being powerless over alcohol is no big deal. I'm free and I'm grateful. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.